Open the Import Samples Wizard and select the RNA Seq FastQ option. You have to install three tools FASTP, HISAT2, and String Tie. Click the link in the FASTP section and scroll down to Get FASTP. Click the link to Anaconda Cloud to open the website. Go to Download Anaconda. Click Download and download the Python 3.7 version. When the download completes, launch the installer. Proceed the installer wizard. You will have to wait patiently in the middle. Finish the installer and remove the unnecessary installer file. Take back the web browser to the Get FASTP. Launch the terminal. Type which anaconda. You see the path of the anaconda binary file. Copy the path. Type CD and paste following it. Hit the return key. Copy the install command from the website and paste in the terminal. Hit return. Wait until the FASTP installation completes. When it asks you to update the program, type Y and hit return. Type which FASTP and see the path to the FASTP binary file. Open the finder, and see that the FASTP file exists at the path. Go back to the Subio Platforms setting panel. Click the Choose button at the FASTP section, and select the FASTP file. Just like you install the FASTP, do the same for the HISAT2 and string tie. Go back to the terminal, hit the up arrow key two times to recall the FASTP install command. Replace FASTP and HASAT2 and hit the return key. Maybe you should not update HISAT2. You can type N. Hit the up arrow key two times, and replace HASAT2 and string tie and hit the return key.
Type Y to update the program. Go back to the Subio platform setting panel. Click the Choose button at the HISAT2 executable section and select HISAT2 file. Set the path of the string tie executable as well. Click the link at the HISAT2 indexes section. Download the link at GRCH38 Genome. It takes a while to download. So, let it keep downloading and go back to the Subio platform setting panel. Click the link at the GTF files section. Access to the FTP server as a guest. Find the homo underscore sapiens folder and open it. Select the GTF file and copy it. Create a new folder under an arbitrary directory. Paste the GTF file in the new folder. Unarchive the .gz file to extract the .gtf file. Remove the unnecessary .gz file. Go back to the Subio platform setting panel. Click the Choose button at the GTF file section and select the .gtf file. Create a new folder for HISAT2 indexes next to the GTF folder. When you get the HISAT2 index, unarchive the .tar to extract the folder containing HT2 files. Remove the unnecessary .tar file. Move the unarchived folder under the prepared folder for HISAT2 indexes. Go back to the Subio platform setting panel. Click the Choose button at the HISAT2 indexes section and select one of the HT2 files. When you finish the tool settings, you see the execution panel. You can open the settings panel from the button at the left bottom corner.